As Yagami chases the mole, the Matsugani family's net tightens. A year ago, Kaito was expelled from the family, and its power structure changed entirely. But the whole thing was a setup. In Kamarocho, men are pulled into the criminal underworld's currents. But those that refuse to submit to its tides will always struggle. Welcome to Chapter 4, Skeletons in the Closet, for our Judgment walkthrough. Hopefully you all are enjoying. It's go time. Leave a like. <sighs> So, Higashi, tell me, you have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No, I don't, boss. You sure could use one with talk still hanging around. It's time to start doing your damn job! Awfully tense lately. Uh, kind of kills the whole room, you know. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. He's always in such a bad mood. One dead, one wounded in the Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Did I know him? Doubt it. He didn't make a habit of standing out. Well, at least they got the killer. Apparently he says he's just an office worker. Bullshit. Guy's a Kyorei assassin, no doubt. You sure? Yep. At least that's what Higashi told me. Oh, you mean the guy who was ready to shoot me the other day? <laughs> you still sore about that? Anyway, according to Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Then, he shot both his eyes out. Why? Must be the Kyorei's idea of revenge. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. So the Kyorei clan wants a war? Looks like it. Kamurocho is turning into a goddamn battlefield. Higashi was in the office when the shooting happened. Probably wouldn't hurt to swing by the arcade and get the scoop. Alright, looks like we need to meet up with Higashi. Yagami? What... What are you doing here? Just here to chat. To chat? If Captain Hamura knew this, he'd... What? Never mind. Don't gotta worry about that now. He's in no position to be coming after you anymore. You mean because of the shooting? Yeah. It really shook him up. He's been MIA ever since that night. Went into hiding even before the cops came. So, what do you want? 
Don't just stand there. You're a guest. Take a seat. <sighs> Sounds like the family's a mess right now. Got that right. The office is crawling with cops. Gonna head over there myself once I'm done with this. Why? <sighs> Gotta shore up the defensive line. The whole family's on duty for this shit. Right. I'm just wondering... Why'd the Curie decide to come after you now? They've been pretty quiet. It's obvious. Their second command's in town and ready for war. Took the train up from Kansai and everything. Who's this guy? Name's Satoshi Shioya. The guy's a natural-born fighter. And soon enough, he'll be chairman. And he's the one who ordered the shooting? No doubt. Though he was targeting Hamura, not Kurimoto. What makes you say that? Take a look at this. It's a shot of Kurimoto right after the shooting. Ugh. Tough to look at. Man got bullets through both eyes. That's not what I want to show you. Look at his clothes. Hmm? His clothes? What about them? The captain was wearing the same jacket yesterday. Wait. They're about the same age, and they look the same from behind, too. Safe to say the captain knows who they were really after. So the Koryai attack was meant for Hamura specifically, not the Tojo clan. Explains why he went into hiding so quick. Huh. <laughs> Funny how this all worked out. You don't look very worried. If the Kiyori are gunning for Captain Hamura, why wouldn't they go for the guys who set him free, too? What, you think they're coming for me? Nah. If anything, Shintani's the one who should worry. After all, he was Hamura's lawyer. Yeah. He won't stand a chance with Yakuza gunning for him. If I were you, I'd at least give him a heads up. Alright, so it looks like we need to head and uh, probably speak with uh, the lawyer guy. Son? How's my favorite know-it-all doing? Good? Who is this? Kasai! You know, from the Kahin game! And you're calling me why? Yakubi-san! Do not listen to him! <laughs> oh! Shut your mouth! Kim-san? You okay? You wanna see your friend alive again? Get your ass over here! That bastard. It's gonna have to wait. I need to go save Kim-san. Kim-san! Yakumi-san! I'm so sorry! Hmm. I forgot how much you pissed me off, know-it-all. And I forgot how dumb you look, so we might as well call it even. What was that?! So... This is our guy, huh? I've heard a lot about you, Yakumi-san. Rumor has it you're a skilled little skullbuster. Uh, thanks? The name's Honda. Renji Honda from the Kagan game. Pleased to meet you. Honda, shut up and help us kick his ass already! Help you? Come on, boys! <laughs> ah. Dude, Honda, what the fuck? What the hell are you doing? I was looking forward to this fight. Not gonna waste it by just dogpiling the guy. Be glad to give you a taste too if you disagree. Hey, what's your deal? Just wanna fight you, that's all. Huh? That's the whole reason I joined the k -Heam. Locking fists with tough bastards like you. So come on, let's tango. Sorry, but I really don't have time for this. Fighting's the only thing that keeps the world spinning, Yagami-san. I know you agree. <sighs> now, enough talk. I'm ready for some fun!
Oh, shit. I can't... I guess that's not considered a wall. Oh, come on. These walls, these wall things, sometimes they just don't work. We got them, though. Woo! <laughs> you just never know what wall is going to be considered a wall to do your running jump on. <laughs> You're even beefier than I'd heard! This is freaking great! I'm not too big on fighting for no reason, though. Oh, yeah? Look like you were having fun to me. You're a natural-born fist-flinger! But... I think we're done here. What? Random bystander phoned the coppers on us. They'll be here any second. Go! What about your fight? I thought that's what keeps the world spinning. <laughs> Can't exactly fight you if you're rotting away behind bars. Let's go! Yakami-san! Hurry! Uh, okay. Hey! That was a real hoot! Let's do it again sometime, Yakami-san! We should be safe now. Who was that guy, Kim-san? You do not know? Oh, that was Honda. One of the Keihin Four. The... what? Oh, 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 it's what they call the four highest ranking members of the Keihin Gang. Kasai, Honda, Sakakiba, and Koga. Each of the four has their own faction, and countless thugs doing their dirty work for them. So, there are two more? Yes, and I hear Koga's faction is the strongest of them all. Yes, word on the street is that they line their pockets selling weapons on the black market. Not even the Yakuza are keeping up with how powerful they have become. Well, then let's hope this Koga guy stays far away from us. So sorry. <laughs> I'm afraid it's my fault that they are coming after you. That's eh, all good. Please, just be careful, Yakimi-san. You too, Kim-san. Glad that's over. Now for Shintani. Alright, threat level. Depending on where you are in the story and how much time has passed, there may be more gang members swarming the streets than usual. When the threat level is present, your chance of encountering is higher. Powerful gang members will show up in the city as long as the threat level is present. You have a sec, Shintani-sensei? Huh? There's something I need to talk to you about. Huh. Perfect timing. I got a few words for you myself. Huh? Come on. Alright, so just so you guys know, and I want to be straight up forward, we just did a full-on side mission, two actually. You guys didn't see any of that, and let me explain why. Uh, for one, none of it was voiced. They were It was a very cool thing to do, but it really added nothing to the main story of the plot. It was just a way to get some extra cash and to do some side stuff. Now... It was kind of fun to do, but I really feel that it was nothing that I needed to show you based on the story. And like I said previously, we're going to keep mainly to these videos having the main story in them. The ones with the voice acting and all that kind of stuff to, to further the plot along. Otherwise, each video would literally be like four or five hours because there's so much side content that happens in between the main mission that you have to do, you know, I just spent a, like an hour doing these two side missions that were interrupted during the main story so they didn't have anything to do with the main story but uh it's something that you had to do and continue on one of them was this really really weird and ridiculous thing about uh a cake and uh someone stealing the cake in the office uh had a whole trial and everything it was quite hilarious no voice acting though so it would have been really boring i think for some people to watch unfortunately and you got to remember that on this channel we got to keep that uh story going um but 
still a pretty interesting story, uh, to, to say the least. And then the second one was like, we just did a side case on how, uh, about, um, uh, being a bodyguard for a woman who was filing for divorce, but then everything turned weird and whatever. And then once it got back here, we were able to reconcile everything. And, uh, the man and the woman got back together. They're not going to get divorced so that, uh, because their kid wanted them to stay together. But it was very, very interesting cases. Um, and again, I'm sure other people are going to have those on there, but for the sake of time, we did not include those and we're sticking to the, uh, the main case. I wonder what Shintane Sensei has to say. You boys play nice, okay? Business hasn't been booming like this for years. Sounds like Hammer is not too happy with you. Huh? He says to quit digging around. We won the case, it's done. And I gotta say, I agree with him. Or was my victory not good enough for you? Oh, your victory and yours alone, huh? <laughs> you heard me. I was the lawyer. My victory. And thanks to that, work's been just flooding in. It's over, Yagami. Let it die. Your work might be over, but the murderer is still out there. This mole you're dying to catch? Well, fuck right off! Your little detective game has done enough damage! Why don't you just leave this alone, huh? Hamura knows who the murderer is. He hid it from us the whole trial. And that innocent verdict made fools of us all. Maybe you're okay with that, but I'm not about to give this up. Ha! <laughs> You talk big, but you're just a mouse, and Hamura's a hungry fucking cat. Funny, he's the one in hiding. The Kyore are gunning for him. That's what the shooting was about. See, Hamura knows he's a target. And I believe he's not the only one who should be worried about himself. Do you get the picture? Huh? Keep your eyes open. I'm telling you this as a friend. Otherwise, you do you. I'm gonna do the right thing. Don't talk down to me! <laughs> you might as well let this mole shit go. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do ya? Come on! The mole is way bigger than you know. What do you mean? You know something. I can see it in your eyes. Hamura trusts you. Now tell me the damn truth! What about stopping the mole? You willing to take responsibility for another murder? Don't talk like I owe you. Attorney-client privilege. Not like you'd remember it. Go back to school. Shintani! Well, that's no good. I thought you said that you respected that guy, Yagami. All right, we need to warn Shintani. Or should I say, I guess we just have to leave. Hello? Yeah, it's me. I'm out in front of the Matsugane office. Looking into the shooting? Yep. The place is absolutely swarming with cops. Kuroiwa's running the investigation. Kuroiwa? Kuroiwa? You mean Ayabe's boss? That's him. Speaking of, Ayabe's here too. Makes a convincing cop when he tries. I was actually thinking I'd invite him over to tender. Try and get my hands on that juicy police info, you know? <laughs> you mind coming along? Not at all. See you over there. You must be making a killing with the state this city's in. Ain't that right, Ayabe? And it's all thanks to you. Do you know anything about the Matsugane shooting last night? 
Not too much, no. But hey, I thought you got Higashi for all your Matsugane needs now. Word travels fast. Who told you that? Kaito. Just now. Huh? You forget how to keep a secret, Kaito-san? Or are you trying to get your buddy killed? Higashi's screwed if Hamura finds out he's been helping us. Look, man. There's no point keeping stuff from Ayabe. Better to just tell him up front than have him find out somewhere else. What can I say? I'm a professional. Sure. Professional snitch. If the shoe fits. But sorry. I really don't have much for you today. Say what? You telling me I bought you a drink for nothing? What? Are times too tough to buy around? Here. Let me at least repay you for the booze. Go on. <laughs> Did you know Hamura's in hiding? He's been out of the office ever since last night. Not even the cops can find the guy. <sighs> yeah, Higashi told us as much, actually. You charging us for this old news? I'm starting to wonder here. Okay, okay, fine. You want answers? Go ahead and ask. Everything's on the house for tonight. I'd rather talk business than sit here in silence anyway. Sounds good to me. Let me think. Alright, looks like we have another one of these. Not too bad shooting the breeze with a dirty cop, but I need to learn about last night's shooting. So, obviously, we don't want to choose that. Why are the Kyore and Kamurocho to begin with? What's a Kansai group doing this far from home? Because they wanted turf in Tokyo. Duh. Even if it meant war with the Tojo? They couldn't have the numbers for that. True. Compared to the Tojo's 25,000, Kyore have a meager thousand at most. Plus, Kamurocho is not exactly their home turf. And by that logic, they don't stand a chance. And yet they've been here almost two years now. Crazy when you think about it. Even the cops put money on the Tojo clan, crushing them into dust. So, what's the holdup then? The Kyore has the backing of the Kajihiro group. In other words, a lot of fucking money. Kajihiro? Isn't he a construction bigwig? Yep. And one of his subsidiaries is the perfect Kyore cover. I suppose you'd know it better as KJ Art. Yeah, we're familiar. Makes sense. They never make inroads in Kamurocho without some big time financial backing. What does Kajihira have to do with the Kyore? Why is he funding Yakuza? Probably so he can expand east out of Kansai. The real money is out here anyway. From what I hear, he's got some big redevelopment plans for Tokyo. What kind of plans are we talking? Not a clue. But, if they're coming from Kansai to do it, shit's gotta be important. And there's always dirty work with those kind of jobs, you know? Like what? Evictions, land sharks, laying the political groundwork. The Kyore is handling all that shit for Kajihira. At least, that's the word on the street. Yeah, thanks. These rumors of yours are gonna do us a ton of good. Well, what I know for sure is that the Kajihira CEO's been up in Tokyo a lot lately. Schmoozing with politicians, government officials, even Kazumi, the head of the Ministry of Health. Why would a construction guy be talking to someone from the Health Ministry? What's the connection? Beats me. Point is, the Kyore aren't here just for Yakuza shit. It's way more complicated than that. Notice the veins move in his neck and stuff, but it, it, for some reason it doesn't happen with uh, Yagami, but it happens with the detective. Uh, I feel like there's a lot more detail in the face with the detective. Let's go with what's happening in the family right now. How are things in the Matsugane family? Well, you already know about the shooting. Their hands are tied while the cops are running the show. So, yeah, they've been pretty quiet. And last but not least, we're going to go with this one. How's Kamurocho seem to you lately? Tense. 
and that shooting only made things worse. Nobody knows when the next fight will break out, or where a stray bullet might end up. Right. And our killer's only gone for Yakuza so far, but he could target anyone next. Gunfights? A murderer on the loose? This city's a mess. <laughs> you got that right. By the way, Amura might have walked, but the cops are still pretty fixated on this mole case. Even the public's wondering who will be next. Huh. And, of course, since we've already received the other three, you still can ask the fourth question. Just wondering, how does it feel when people call you a dirty cop? Eh, anyone who knows that side of me ain't exactly a saint either, you know? Good point. That's the pot calling the kettle black, or the kettle calling the pot black, whatever. <laughs> yeah, guess so. All right, I gotta go. Already? You're a busy boy. Yeah. Kaito-san? Huh? Yagami and Kaito, yes. What an honor. Tokyo Police. The name's Kuroiwa. Kuroiwa. The one who almost put Hamra behind bars, before you two pulled him out of my grasp. Huh. <laughs> so what? <laughs> I've become a department punchline now. I have you to thank. Hmm, you're very welcome. And I see you're <laughs> here too, Ayabe. <laughs> oh, Kuroiwa-san. Nice nights. It's great to see you. Yeah. I cut out of work to grab a few drinks. You doing the same, Ayabe? Nah, <laughs> old me? I don't play hooky. Well, we should be on our way. Hey, let me ask before you go. The Okubo case. You let that murderer get off scot-free. After which he burned his poor girlfriend to death. And yet, here we are with another murderer roaming the streets of this city. I wonder who the next victim will be. You consider that, Yagami-sensei. You good, talk? Yeah, I'm used to dealing with assholes like that. What was Kuroiwa doing there anyway? I bet he knows about Ayabi's little side gig. Probably came to keep him from chirping too much. Right. Or maybe he wanted to keep an eye on us. Hope not. I don't need that guy breathing down our necks. Anyway, you want to head home? Not yet. Something's bugging me about the Kyore clan. What do you mean? Until today, I just thought they were here scouting out some new turf in Kamurocho. But it turns out they've got a construction conglomerate behind them, and they're involved in redevelopment, too. So you want to figure out who the real Kyore is? Not a bad idea. But how are we going to investigate? You don't remember? We have a friend on the inside. <laughs> you mean Murase? Oh, yeah. Come on, let's head to KJ Art. Hey, Talk. I'm getting close to KJR. Hey, you want to bust out the drone? See what our old friend Murase's up to? Yeah, should be pretty easy to find him this time. <laughs> right this way. Looks like there's also a building you can go down in there, too. All right, it's spy time. Okay, I'll handle the flying. You keep watch on anyone coming in or out. <laughs> hey.
There he is. <laughs> right where I expected. Yeah, not so sure it's that simple, though. Take another look. Morase's alone. Your point being? Hands up. Matsugane guy died at our hands. Always knew we'd get some Tojo clan boys sent over here. So, you see, we've been expecting guests this whole time. Yagami-san. <laughs> ideas, Kaito-san? I, uh... You're the ideas guy, aren't you? Damn it. If you two clowns really were Tojo clan, We'd have gouged your eyes out by now. The hell is the Town's sure noisy, huh? No one will care about, say, a couple of gunshots up here. Whose bright idea was this? This guy. Oh, is that really how it's gonna be, Kaito-san? <laughs> and just who are you? Good question, Kaito-san. Satoshi Shioya's the name. The Kyori clan's captain, huh? Higashi mentioned him. Hey! Get some cuffs on these fools. I've got some burning hot questions to ask them. <laughs> you ready? I think we're gonna have a little fun. You think I'm messing around? Take him out now! No! Shoot him! <laughs> Shit! You? Why? Is this really the time? Fair enough. <laughs> Come on. Let's move! Lucky there. Oh, I can't see, but that's okay. Oh, got him. Nice, we did it. Nice. I think we're getting a little bit better at the combat.
That's enough. Come on, let's roll. Yeah, no reason to stay here. We owe you one. You should come with us. Hmm. Coming? Sure. May as well. Wait, just like that? Hold up. I'm not letting you assholes get away that easily. Yakuza don't fuck around. <laughs> you three are gone. <laughs> well, shit. You're not half as ugly as I figured you were. <laughs> what can I say? Not a good idea? Well, not like I'll get very far with it on, you know? <laughs> okay, let's go. Guys, what the hell were you thinking coming here? What? You don't want us around? No. It's just, if Captain Hamara saw you here, he'd... How's he gonna find us if he's off the grid? What are you worried about? Yeah, but... Forget it. Who's your friend? Good question. I'm Sugiura. Fumia Sugiura. This isn't the first time Sugira here has saved my neck. That mask... Ain't that the symbol of some big-time burglary ring? It is, but I bailed on that. I'm flying solo now. What were you doing over by KJR? Don't want to talk? No, I just... don't know where to start. It's... kind of complicated. Hmm? Okay, well... I used to work for the Kajihira group, down at their headquarters in Kansai. You mean the guys backing the Kilray clan? Yeah. I had a job doing IT work for them for a bit. Keeping their servers safe, that kind of stuff. I was their systems engineer. An ex-Kajihira guy turned criminal, huh? Go on. Well, one day I noticed some accounting data was off. They were cooking the books. Really? Turns out the top guys were making a slush fund. They stashed away millions, writing it all off as some vague business expense. Digging it all up was kind of a thrill. Until I got caught. Everything happened so fast after that. They accused me of embezzling company funds and threw me out on the street. Nobody would believe a word I said. But I knew where the money was going. A group of Yakuza known as the Kyorei clan. Specifically, a shell company called KJ Art. If I could just prove it, I'd be able to get back at the bastards who cheated me. So, Sugura has got a grudge against the Kahira group, huh? Which is why you were staking out the place. I've been keeping watch over there for a while now. <laughs> I even saw you break in and beat the crap out of Murase. Assuming all that's true, why did you rescue us? You remember when you asked to team up, Yagami-san? I thought about it, and... It seems like a pretty good deal. Might be worth putting our heads together for a while. Me and the Yagami Detective Agency. <laughs> Especially you, Kaito-san. Huh? No matter how many Yakuza come to take you down, you always have it handled. It's incredible. What can I say? You got a good eye, kid. And don't let it go to your head. Hey, can you guys please take this shit elsewhere? So, what do you say? I'm not saying we've got to become best buddies, but we can at least give each other a hand. How? You want your mole? I want the Kyore clan. 
We might not be after the same thing, but there's a lot of overlap. How can I get in touch with you? <laughs> Will that work? How the hell did you do that? I took your phone, remember? Not like I had to hack it or anything. Kids these days. Look, I need to close up shop. So you mind getting out of here? Not that you should have come to begin with. You know, I kind of like this Sugiura kid. That little compliment really won you over, huh? It's not like I fully trust him yet, man. We scratch his back, he scratches ours. As long as that's all he wants, I'm good. Agreed. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the office. Cool. Later, man. Alright, so it looks like we need... Ooh. Bad news, Yagami-san. The gang is back causing chaos in town. If you have the time, can you please help before someone gets hurt? Gang leaders. When the threat level is on screen, not only will there be a crazy amount of gangs wandering around the city, in order to reduce the threat level, you must either defeat the leaders or wait for some time to pass. If you do manage to defeat the leaders, you receive a reward. Okay. Threat level is 100%. Sheesh. Can you play, like, any of these games? I'm guessing you can't play any of them. That kind of sucks. Would have been pretty cool if you could actually play. Alright, so we need to return to the agency. Guess we're doing this. gonna be a little bit harder than I thought so let's get something here let's go with another sushi set just to give ourselves some health might as well go with two a little bit of Jack Daniels a little bit of Odin Got him. And that should be it. Really, guys? It's because we took a bottle of tequila. Alright, see, that only brought it down 2%. Really? Gosh, you think that would have, uh. Um, this way? My god, I get so freaking confusing because of this. I don't know. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think I'm. Because uh, I'm drunk. Oh my god, yeah, that's because I'm drunk. This is hilarious. Oh, this is crazy. It's definitely because I'm drunk. You're a better fighter? But what makes it even more hilarious is... You can't move as good. But you are a way better fighter. What's up, Sauri san? You don't usually call me. I haven't been able to reach Shintani Sensei. It keeps going to voicemail. He hasn't picked up since he left the office after talking to you. Mm hmm. And? Didn't you say the Kyori clan was after him? Yeah. 
He'll be fine. I just wanted to give him a scare. Okay, still. Could you try him for me? Sometimes he ignores my calls. Maybe he'll pick up for you. Are you sure we're talking about the same guy? <laughs> but I might as well. Can't hurt to try. Shintani here. Uh, hey, Shintani Sensei. It's Tak. Where are you? Don't want that. You've reached the voicemail box of the one and only Masamichi Shintani, Genda Law Office's finest attorney. Shintani. Leave your legal troubles after the beep. There you have it, ladies and gents. Chapter 4 Skeletons in the Closet is complete and wow the story is getting so good i hope you guys are enjoying it of course as well so with that being said thank you again so much for watching and i will see you on the next one peace